The Ukrainian army that continues military operation in Russia's Kursk region, has destroyed a Russian army position as well as heavy equipment belonging to Russian troops. As can be seen from the footage taken from the drone and circulated on Telegram channels, Ukrainians this time targeted Buk M-3 anti-aircraft missile complex, which had struck the Ukrainian territory, as well as the Ukrainian fighter's position in Kursk. The launching device of the anti-aircraft missile complex worth $40 million was struck by the HIMARS missile system provided to Ukraine as part of military assistance from the United States. It should be noted that this is not the first Buk complex destroyed by Ukrainian army since the start of the incursion in Kursk. In the first days of the operation, the complex was destroyed in Ukrainian kamikaze drone attack. Russia is ready for a potential conflict with NATO in the Arctic, said the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the country, Sergei Lavrov. We see how NATO is intensifying exercises related to possible crisis in the Arctic. Our country is fully ready to defend its interests in military, political and defense technological terms, Lavrov said. According to Politico, the announcement was another display of military rhetoric from the Kremlin, which has repeatedly threatened the use of force against NATO and its allies, including the possibility of nuclear conflict. The Arctic is the northernmost point of the Earth, and its territories belong to eight countries – Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Canada, the USA, Iceland and Russia. All countries except Russia are members of NATO. Finland joined NATO last April following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Sweden joined the alliance in March this year, bringing NATO's membership to 32. Lavrov also emphasized that the Arctic is not NATO territory and emphasized that other countries such as China and India have their own interests in the region. Earlier, one of Moscow's high-ranking officials warned that Finland would suffer the worst in the event of a war between NATO and Russia. In February, Russia suspended its participation in the Arctic Council, an intergovernmental forum that includes Arctic countries. This was the result of a boycott by other participants after the start of Russian aggression against Ukraine. Despite this, some cooperation was partially restored. The US military is steadily boosting its presence near Alaska, deploying a destroyer and an army unit armed with a long-range missile system as tensions rise due to stepped-up Russian and Chinese military activities near the Alaskan coast. Over the past month, the destroyer USS Steret has been dispatched to the Alaskan coast in response to the Russian Navy ships operating in the area. Army troops have landed on a remote Alaskan island and fighter squadrons and other aircraft based in Alaska have been placed on heightened alert. The actions follow a series of Russian air operations that skirted Alaskan airspace and as Russian and Chinese warships conducted joint exercises across the Pacific near Japan, Moscow has taken to flexing its muscles in the Indo-Pacific and the Arctic as its relationship with China deepens thanks in part to the war in Ukraine. Russia has tricked a group of young men from Ghana, Africa, into fighting in Ukraine. Those lucky enough to survive are begging for help. The story about the incident was aired on the Ghanaian channel 3 News. Young Ghanaians were lured to the Russian Federation with the promise of work in security and agriculture with a salary of 400,000 rubles or about $4.3,000. Immediately upon arrival in Kostroma on August the 6th, they signed contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense, being sure that this was an agreement for work. However, the reality turned out to be terrible. The Africans were immediately sent to the front without any training. They are now under constant shelling somewhere on the front line near occupied Donetsk. Of the 14 people, only three managed to survive. Residents of Ghana managed to contact journalists from their country. We are suffering. We are begging you. Please save us. We thought we would work here as security guards. Help, they say in the video. It is noteworthy that the young people were recruited by their famous compatriot named Abraham. He took 130,000 rubles or about $1.4,000 from each of them for help. In addition, the young people paid for their visa and flight to Russia themselves. 
Recall the Russian military has ramped up its recruitment of mercenaries from Africa to support its frontline operations in Ukraine. This is according to Kyiv's military intelligence service, adding that most foreign mercenaries are recruited from Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. A sign-in bonus of $2,000 is promised for these foreign recruits in exchange for their agreement to become part of a special unit as assault troops. They are also said to receive a monthly allowance of $2,200 on top of health insurance and Russian passports for them and their families. The existence of African mercenaries in the Russian military has been noted since 2023, when the so-called Russian Africa Corps was created. Consisting of over 2,000 soldiers and officers, the unit reportedly operates alongside Moscow's regular army and Storm Z units. Many of these mercenaries served in the Wagner Group and already had experience in Syria, Libya, Burkina Faso and Niger.